there's good guys out there, which by the way is another thing that my pregnancy changed because I had a boy. I was very much a man hater <laughs> before mm-hmm. I had my son. And now I'm like, I'm still very much a girl's girl, but I'm more of like an ally of all people yeah. versus just women now because I look at my son and how pure and innocent he is. And I'm like, there's a little Milo and all these yeah. men out there. Like they have a mom that thinks about them the way that I think about my son. Yeah. And that's really helped me see that. Like there humanize are, them a little mm. bit. First thing I want to say is what the hell happened here, boys? I wasn't sure if this was Lana Roach from Wish.com. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must. Huh? All I'm going to say is the wall is undefeated, boys. I guess this is what happens when you have a long career in the adult film industry. She said a lot of dumb stuff over the years about men, but this one isn't too bad. Because of her having a son, I think she's starting to see that the world out there isn't exactly rooting for men. It's really against us. And especially her son, he's going to have a hard time because, you know, her mum's like one of the most famous corn stars in the world. Good luck, bro. Good luck. How old are you? I'm 36. Yeah. How old are you? 35. I don't believe you now. You don't? Because I look younger. <laughs> you look older. <gasps> Got him. Kiss or slap? From who? I'm asking, pick one, pick one. Kiss or slap? A slap. Slap? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. 100% positive? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Slap. <laughs> All right, that, that was... A little something, a little something. A little something? Yeah, yeah. She belongs to the streets. I will never understand why girls go out in the street, find random guys, I'm pretty sure this guy's like homeless anyway, and be getting them to kiss them or slap their ass for likes and attention. Like, who decides to go outside and do that? 304s and bizzles. What's your body count? Is uh, like how many people have you had sex with? That was, that was the first thought that came to mind. What is happening? It's probably about a thousand. What? Granny is a savage. Because I saw several hundred when I was swinging. Because we did it on a regular basis. And when I go away touring, which is basically to go to a town somewhere in the country and then have clients, touring. I probably would have two or three a day. <laughs> but then some of them are repeat, you know, so it's like, how many times have you or? How many different people have you? I'm scarred for life. A lot. <laughs> what? Do you think you're sexy? I think I'm fucking sexy. She's fucking sexy. Delusional. See, hey. Who put it in your head that you're sexy? Me, myself, and I. Like, who else? What would you rate yourself then? I would rate myself like a. Uh, 8.5 a 9. 15 out of yeah. 10. 15 out of 10? 15? Yo, you crazy. She's the baddest bitch out here. Bitch, you bad. 8.5. Bitch, she's bad. You're better. 8.5. Psych? 8.5. 8.5. Girl, like girl, girl, I'm going to take the 8.5. Okay, I, I don't know who put in your head that you're hot. I give about, you're mid. And I give you about 6.5. That's my dog. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh but, yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah, come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> Chicks like this aren't even worthy of taking to McDonald's. If you go on a date and the girl just pulls out the phone and starts videoing herself when you pull up somewhere, you show her to the nearest bus stop. These entitled chicks is getting out of control. She said, girls like me at a place like this, you're like a 4.5 on a good day. Lucky that he took you there in the first place. Do you ever shoot your shot? Absolutely not. What, never? No. You've never approached someone you no. like first? No, 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 no. Never am I shooting my shot with a man, that is mental. Have you got like subtle shooting shots, like lacking a few pictures? I don't like anyone's photo. Don't you? No. My friends, no male can tell you I've liked their photo on Instagram. Why are you there? To see my, what my friends are doing. Stop the cap. I was on a Sidemen video and everyone was like, oh, she's so wifey, she's so wifey. And then I decided to start an only with my management. And from there, everyone just turned on me and was like, Oh, now she belongs to the streets now. A lot of men think I'm is a red flag, but I'm like, do you want to pay my bills then? You went on the side video. It was 20 versus one. You got a lot of reception from that. I did. I was. I got like 100k on TikTok like after that, and I was like, I, I want to carry on with this. I want to do other things like YouTube and Twitch. I like making people laugh, and only do funds like my boxing training. What made you want to go straight to like, I didn't. I waited for months. I only really just started. With my management, I technically have to do only Did you actually want to do it though? Yeah. I mean, now as well that I've seen the money that mm -hmm. you make is a lot. incredible. And people come, it's easy money. Well, if you have the opportunity and you're happy to do it, it's legal. I don't understand what if you have do got it. the follow You will find out in a few years why you shouldn't have done that and you messed up. What I don't understand is, that girl was in a perfect position. Everyone was given her credit and attention for being wifey material because all these other girls are on OnlyFans. You could have separated yourself, done your own thing, actually not been a bizzle like the rest of these girls out here. But no, you fell for the trap and now you're doing the same as everyone else. It's mad. People will call a girl wifey just because you can't see her naked online for $4.99. And I know there's some guys in her management who are just dangling the bait in front of her nose, trying to persuade her to do an OnlyFans. Because most girls on that platform, their account is being overseen and managed by a guy anyway. It's a shame to see so many young, pretty women fall into that line of work. Because they don't see and understand how much it's actually gonna damage them not only now, but later on in life as well. It doesn't matter if you do OnlyFans for a day, a week, you're always going to be labelled as a 304. And those pictures you put up, they'll be on Reddit, they'll be on Twitter, they'll be everywhere forever.